I'm very excited about my next guest in the author's studio. A lot of people start life with a different career before they become a full-time writer. And this lady actually began life as a doctor, and I think it's greatly informed her writing. She is a great favourite of mine. I love her book. She's a fantastically compelling writer, an incredibly original writer. And not only that, she is a really charming, warm, friendly person. Um, I'm delighted to welcome Tess Gerritsen. Don't start writing your book until you hear the voice that is your narrator. Oh, my favorite book is uh, Gravity, um, and it's my favorite probably because it was the most difficult. I write uh, in an office in my house overlooking the ocean, and I generally write from mid-morning till um, mid-afternoon. The books that inspired me as a child were the Nancy Drew series of mystery novels because um, it was about a liberated young woman. I don't have any guilty pleasures. I think pleasures should never be guilty. <laughs> the only ritual I have before writing is I must have a cup of coffee and my breakfast in the morning. I wanted to be an author since I was seven years old, and I wrote my very first book at age seven. Um, but unfortunately, I was, uh, well, maybe, maybe fortunately, I was uh, convinced by my father that I needed to go into science first, so that's how I ended up going to medical school instead. Well, I think it did because it gave me, um, it gave me a material to use for my, um, for my future novels. I just learned a term recently that writers are either architects or gardeners. I'm definitely a gardener casting seeds to the wind. Uh, I don't plan things out ahead of time. I get an idea that um, won't leave me and I want it. I just play with it, you know, until I see where it goes. I, get, I hate being asked what my favorite book is because it keeps changing. So I'm going to fall back on the ones that inspired me as a child and I loved the Tolkien series, uh, The Lord of the Rings. I'm, um, you know, I've never lost any of my work. I, I, because I start with, I work with pen and paper, and my first drafts are always hard copy. Um, and every time I get on my computer and type, uh, I always print it up. So no, I've never lost anything. You've just heard some really great insights from one of the world's most successful authors. I'd love to know in the comment box below, what career you think would make the best background to them becoming a successful author?